Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Lesson 242. Today we're going to cover the difference between kidnap and abduct. Yeah, I, I sometimes hear people say they're synonymous, and to a point, they're correct. Uh, that both of them mean that somebody is taken illegally, and somebody is taken by force, usually against their will. Uh, that's mostly around where it stops, though. There are clear differences when it is much more likely we'll use either the word kidnapped or abduct. All right, so let me cover this. Uh, let's look at the note here. Uh, if someone is kidnapped, uh, they are taken illegally uh, and by force. Usually the kidnapper will hold a person to make a demand. So this is one of the key parts about if we're more likely to use the word kidnap. Usually the kidnapper contacts the family or contacts somebody with the demand in that case, you're more likely to use the word kidnap. So let's make a demand, uh, especially a ransom. So if they're asking for money, that's a ransom. Uh, this will usually fall into the kidnapping category. This is the one that the public knows probably uh, more than any others. You know, maybe some bad guys uh, uh, stalk out some rich family, take their child, and then ask for money. This would go into the uh, kidnapping category, definitely. All right. So, uh, and they ask for ransom. We say from the uh, victim's family, so it could be from the personal family, uh, or possibly from their company. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I guess about 10 years ago now, there was a movie called Proof of Life uh, with Meg Ryan and Russell Crowe, where uh, he worked in a South American country, and some guerrillas took the uh, husband, and they thought, well, he worked for this rich company, that they would pay up the money, uh, and then, well, that part didn't work out, but that would be a good example of where they might they might do it, and they might make the demand from the company, because they think the company's rich, and the company will come up with the money. So that would have been an example of that one. Uh, or government, um, yeah, we see this all the time. Uh, I remember... Um, uh, when was it? In the, like 2004, 2005, around that time when supposedly the Taliban, I think, took one of the Filipino workers and they were making demands from the Philippine government to try to release him. Again, this would go under kidnapping. So if they contact you, they make demands, then it's usually kidnapping. So it could be for um, money is the big one, for, or some of the political requests, like if they were asking the Philippines to stop helping uh, in in the in that effort, or if um, you know maybe they maybe they want to free a political like this one says to free a political prisoner. So let's continue here. Sometimes a kidnapper will make a political demand, such as requesting to set a political prisoner free. I've seen this one a lot of movies sometimes, where the group, especially if one of their own got kidnapped, they kidnap this one and they want them to set that one free before they set this one free. Uh, so this is another situation that would definitely go under kidnapping. Okay, let's, let's continue. Let's take a look at abducting. Uh, if someone is abducted, he or she is also taken illegally and by force. However, with abductions, most of the time, no demands are made. They don't even usually contact you. They have no interest to contact you. Uh, abductors will usually keep quiet about the crime. They just kind of want to disappear with the person. They usually have motives in which they don't plan to return the victim. So if they don't plan to return the victim, it's more likely going to fall into the abduction category. So we're more likely going to use the word abduct in these cases. And uh, so let's look here. Here are cases where we are more likely to use abduction. All right, uh, let's look at the first one here. If someone is taken to become a sex slave, we have heard of this. Uh, maybe some pretty girl, then she gets sold into prostitution and gets on dr uh, they get her on drugs and she could never get out. That would be for a sex slave. Or sold into any type of slavery. It could be, you know, sweatshops, you know, with little children, things like that. Uh, this is also more likely to fall into abductions. Um, harems. I remember many, many years ago, there was a movie called Harem, uh, and the actress was Natasha Kinski, where they took her and sold her to some Saudi Arabian rich prince. She just became part of the harem. She just disappeared. 
uh, there. So that would be an abduction. They're not contacting anybody. They're not making any demands. They want the person. Um, okay, and also Taken, the movie Taken, more recently with uh, Liam Neeson. I think they made about two or three of them, uh, where supposedly they first um, abducted his daughter. They weren't planning on returning her. You know, it was only, you know, in the movie, of course, Liam Neeson used to be like ex-CIA, so he was able to hunt them down in the movie. I don't know if he'd be that lucky in real life. But uh, that's, that's more likely to be called abduction. Okay, uh, let's continue here. Uh, if someone is uh, taken away to be a murder victim uh, in a cult sacrifice. Yeah, we don't like to talk about this once too much. But there are some uh, satanic cults out there that might actually um, have some sort of ceremony and they actually really kill somebody. In, it. in this case, that person is usually abducted. Unfortunately, more often than not, it might be a child. So that's why uh, sometimes we hear about in the U.S. how many children disappear every year. It would be very scary to think that you know a certain percentage of them might be going in this area. So, Or there's also a lot of uh, pedophile rings where they kidnap the small children also for uh, another type of sex slavery too. But sex slavery for children. These would definitely also go under abductions. Okay, uh, let's continue. Um, if a woman could not have her, uh, could not have, a, um, could not have a, a baby on her own, and it drives her crazy enough to take someone else's child, um, that would go under abduction. She doesn't contact anybody, she just really wants a child. Luckily, there's not that many cases like this, but we have heard of a few in the past. Um, okay, good. If a parent uh, is likely to lose a custody battle and runs away, uh, especially to another country illegally, this would also be an abduction. So they still they don't want to give up their child, and maybe they're going to lose custody. Uh, I don't know how serious it is. You know, a lot of times, even when there's divorces, usually they get visiting rights. But in this case, I don't know, maybe for some reason they won't, or whatever the case is, they just decide to run away with the child. We sometimes hear about cases like this where governments are kind of arguing about it, you know, uh, especially if, if uh, one of the parents is from a different uh, country, and they run to their country with the child that is legally their child. But technically, they weren't supposed to leave. There was a custody uh, court case going on, and they, they just abducted the child and left with it that would most likely go under abduction more than, than, than kidnap. Even though I have to be careful because uh, there's also some technical rules in some, uh, in some governments and states about what they call uh, kidnapping and abduction. Uh, and sometimes they can vary slightly. Uh, so you've got to be a little careful about that. But most of the time when we're just talking about it in general, we would probably still more likely call this an abduction. Um, okay, let's continue. Um, okay, in, uh, in sci-fi movies, in science fiction, or some people who claim in real life <clears throat> to be taken by aliens uh, for experimentation or another reason. Uh, yeah, so we, we never hear, uh, just like this says, nobody ever says aliens kidnap, they always abduct, yeah. We never hear about any aliens uh, calling somebody up and asking for a ransom or making some demands. So we are much more likely to use the word abduct than kidnap in this sort of situation. Anyway, I, I, hope it, I hope it clarifies it. You know, there could be a little bit of overlap between these words, but um, what I explained is, is probably most true. There's, there's certain situations where kidnap is more likely to be used and there's other situations where abduct is more likely to be used. Anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time.